So we've been looking at Microsoft Bookings and we've been looking at it from accessing via the website and via the Bookings app online. So any kind of good software, you're typically going to have a mobile app that goes along with it and Microsoft Bookings is no exception. So let's go ahead and jump into looking at the app and how that works. All right, so with the app, we can do a few things. Let's go ahead and first of all, open it. And when we open it, we are going to get kind of a few little sort of splash screens and we're going to go ahead and be able to see it says we can see all our appointments in one point and place. If we just swipe, um, it says we can stay in touch with customers at our fingertips so we can see some customer information. And then finally, we can manage bookings and make changes on the fly. So let's go ahead and we will sign in. And so what we're going to do is put in our Office 365 account. So we'll put in the email address. And click sign in. And now we're going to be taken to the page to put in the password. So let's go ahead and add that. And we are now signing into Microsoft Bookings. All right, so once we're logged in, we can see that we've got to pick the calendar. So I've only got one, so I've just got one calendar to select from. So I'm going to go ahead and choose that one. All right, so then what we can do is we can go ahead and we can navigate to different dates. We can see that we've got um, the different people that are in our team. We can see those people along the top so let's go ahead and we can go and look at the next booking which is on August the 17th so I can go ahead and click on that and we can see that is with Rodney Green so I can open that one and there I can see information about that specific booking so we can see the, there's the date and time we can see who the person is and we've got all of the details about that specific booking. We can then also see that we've got any of those custom um, questions that we created. So we can see that we've got, uh, please share what kind of details you would like to discuss. Um, we've got the assigned staff member. We have that there's going to be a reminder to the customer a day before, a reminder to staff a day before. I can go ahead and I can click on this to edit the booking so I can make changes um, if I wanted to. I could add another email reminder if I wanted to as well. So we've got to the customer. Um, we can say that's 15 minutes before. We can put in the text, whatever we want to say. Um, if I go ahead and now I save that booking that I've edited. I can click on this little button at the bottom here that will give me some options. I can call the customer, I can send them a text message from here, or I can send them an email. Now keep in mind, if I call them or I send them an, a, a text message, that's coming from my phone, so they're gonna have my phone number. So if you don't want that, then don't use that functionality. I can also then do email, and again, that's going to come from my email address. So, All right, so then what we can also do is we can add a filter, and we can filter to say, right, well, I want to see um, unassigned bookings, yes or no. Um, I can also say, well, I want to only see stuff that's been assigned to me. So I can add that filter and I can look through and let's see what I've got. Uh, my next booking is on August 9th, uh, sorry, 19th. So I can go to that one. If I click on the next button, I can see all of the contacts that I have. Basically, everyone that has created some uh, a booking at some point, those are my contacts. Uh, there is all the staff members that I have. And then I can see the settings for this specific um, bookings calendar as well. So I can see the booking information, sorry, the business information. Um, I can see the services that I have. Um, I can go ahead and I can add a new service from here as well. So I can really manage Microsoft bookings from my mobile app as well as um, being online. 
So if you're using Microsoft Bookings and you have staff members that are going to either be out in the field or you've got a shop floor and people still need to be able to have access, then the Bookings app on their mobile device is a great way to do that. Again, like I said, they can go ahead and just look at the bookings that they have, filter it out, or they could look at all of the bookings that you have set up. So hope you like this. Go ahead, leave some comments below. Let me know what you think. Hi, I'm Megan Walker. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and that you learned something from it. If you don't want to miss out on any other content, you can go ahead and click on my face below to subscribe. And if you want to watch the next video, you can do that by clicking over here and go ahead and get started. Thanks again.